this video, we will show how you can deal with flaky tests better and reduce false positives with Kalon Studio's retried failed executions immediately feature. I'm using a sample project for an online shopping website available on GitHub. There are already some test suites and test cases for you to practice with. To find a sample project, just Google the keywords Catalan Sample Shopping Cart. Scroll down to the second result. Aside from this shopping cart project I'll be using, there are plenty of other project templates like JavaScript reports in test ops, sample test cases for web and mobile testing, and many more you can try later on. All right, back to Studio. Be sure to check that you've updated or downloaded Studio's latest version. Okay, let's use the test suite. Click on the error next to execution information and set the retry failed execution immediately to two times. This means that we're predefining that if a test case fails, then it will have two more reruns. Remember to click the Save button here to save this configuration. This is the report folder. No reports are currently in here yet. We'll get back here later after all the test suites and cases have been executed. I'll run this test suite on Chrome by choosing the drop-down list on the right of the play button and I'll start running. To simulate a flaky test and make it fail in the first execution, I've purposely made some edits in its test steps. I'll type in something to make the login info incorrect. After the timeout, the test case will fail because it could not find the page and objects written in the test steps. You can see that the failed test case has automatically been retried. Now I'll wait. It runs, passes, and has triggered the second test to execute. The second test case in the test suit will start to run. Let's wait and see. It's done. Now we can go ahead and check the report. Here's the report for the test suite. There are two test cases here. As you can see, test case number one has an expand icon and has two test logs since it was executed two times, including the first execution and the retry after that. It failed in the first run, but passed in the retry. So, its final status is passed. This is a common case for flaky tests. But with Catalan Studio's retried failed executions immediately, you can now prevent false positives caused by flaky tests like this. On the flip side, test case number two passed in its first run, making it the final result and comes with only one test log. Unlike Selenium, you can easily view these JUnit reports, HTML, PDF, and CSV files without any extra coding or workarounds. But don't just stop here. To better identify your test failure patterns over time, determine their root cause, and refactor your tests later on, you can take this a step further with TestSoft Report. This allows all of your test results to be simultaneously pushed to TestSoft, stored, and to better identify your test failure patterns over time with its own test flakiness report. TestSoft is already built inside Studio so you don't have to worry about any heavy setups here. First, go to Project on the top menu, click on Settings. Now click on Catalan Test Ops and check the Override Authentication box. Input your Catalan account. Select the organization you want your Catalan Studio reports to be stored, and team and project to receive the test report from the Studio project. Then click on Apply and Close to Save. Note, if you can't find your organization or project you wanted, just click on the Fetch Organization or Fetch Project button to locate them. Go to Test Ops and Test Runs. It will fetch all the latest runs from Test Ops to the table on the right side. Now click on a Test Run and I will be automatically navigated to Test Ops. Here's the detailed report of your test suite and all of your test runs, including the retried ones. Click on a test suite and you'll be able to view its list of test cases and its execution history. Switch to report and analytics to have more information on each of the test cases, metrics, and data. Here are the details, including a pass and fail chart. Moving on to the test case tab, we see a flaky report which shows you your list of test cases and their flaky rate. With the test cases I'm using, most of my tests don't have any severe sign of flakiness. Here's one with only 16.67%. Aside from the flakiness metrics, you also have access to other reports like Sonus, Stale, but that's for another video. 
So that's it for now. Go ahead and download Canon Studio and test off for free with the link in the description and try out the retried failed executions immediately feature yourself.